Yes, that's right, Jim. Another exciting encounter is about to get underway. Should be a classic, Bob. I spoke to the ref earlier on, and he says he'll be looking to keep a low profile. If this doesn't end up in a massacre, I'm a goblin. Oh, you're safe for today, Jim. You're in for a hiding. The ball's in play. There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident, when rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. to pick something up, but it wasn't the ball. Maybe they found a gold coin. Yes, Jim. Scantily dressed women that hit first and ask questions later. Yes, Bob. I just wish there were more women like that. Don't we all, Jim? Don't we all? <laughs> nice left punch. Right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> Reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. 
something must be broken. Uh, probably nose, a few teeth, an arm. You know, regular stuff. Did you hear about the Venus man-eaters, Bob? Oh, yes, Jim. I think everyone knows about the man-eaters. Oh, I'm scared, Bob. So is everyone with proverbial coconuts. Wow! I can tell you straight, that hurts. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob! Good hand skills! The ball is caught! Perfect catch! Brilliant pass! As you say, good job! Nice play! The ball changes hands! Every now and again, Blood Bowl throws up a real mixed bag of a team. Like the Motley Horde. It's made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those cast-offs every day of the week. She sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. In motion. What we'd like to see more, more often. often. Did you hear about the Evil Gits, the team that is made up of the mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. And the referee has given it. It's kicking at me and touchdown. Touch, touch, touch. Down, down, down.
Three, two, one. Bust up. Hmm. Pouring rain. Yep. Looks like we got some heavy rain coming in, Jim. True, true, Bob. That'll make the ball slippery and difficult to handle. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I've heard of teams that have simply disappeared after being abandoned by their supporters. Let's say that some teams who haven't won a match for several years have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish containers. It's the only way to end a downward spiral. Ouch! Right in the face! The other guy couldn't dodge that one. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh, yes. They were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snap of a wizard's neck. He checked that move. Made him look stupid, you mean. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True. Could be a bit one-sided. say much about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. <laughs> Boom! 
boom in the face, and then followed by a clean uppercut. Well done! Corruption so widespread that the Referees Guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, the clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. There's one that lets his biceps do the talking. Yeah, but from his opponent's point of view, it was a short conversation. Looks like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Just look at the fans. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent a small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. Right in the face. The other guy couldn't dodge that one. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splotch. A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing! It... Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts.
worthy of a black hawk. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it. Is it true that most of the Amazon team's devoted fans consist of young men, Bob? Not at all, Jim. I've heard a large portion of their fan base consists of disgruntled homemakers and countless scores of former Bloodweiser babes. Aha! That would explain why the Amazon fans had their own fans themselves. This player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. Hold still and then pow! Right in the face! Did you know that Underworld judges woke up a century prior to the other Kemri teams? Ah, uh, yes, Jim, which explains why they are the worst Kemri team out there in the circuit today. The worst indeed, Bob. That's right, Jim. They had no one to practice with. <laughs> Here we go again for another bloodbath. team participated in the Lustrian Cup, and the Amazons took it by storm and grabbed the trophy from Sotek's word.
That face job is a lot cheaper than a plastic surgeon. I don't know if he planned it, but it won't do him any harm in the looks department. Sometimes I think they were better off left buried in the sand, Bob. Really, Jim? Yeah, Bob. Have you ever actually seen a throw raw throw a long bomb? No, Jim, but I thought you didn't like the throwing game anyway, huh? Blood Bowl annals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. in the slapping box and gives rather generously. sure have added some flavor to the game. Look at that! Whoa! Oh, wow! Ow! Children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, 
These are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Nice play with the ball. They've been training well. Stunned, apparently. Oh, a few slaps in the face and anybody can wake up instantly. Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Oh, no way! A little elf? has got the ball, and now he's the main target. in the face, and then followed by a clean uppercut. Well done! Side kick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. Did you hear about the Venus man eaters, Bob? Oh, yes, Jim. I think everyone knows about the man eaters. Oh, I'm scared, Bob. So is everyone with proverbial coconuts. Blood Bowl is reputedly the toughest of all sports. Ah, uh, so they say. But it really only comes down to taking a few hits. No, 
catch. Right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> Now this player just needs to survive, and that's how you make a successful pass. Could be an important pass. We don't see much of the heroes of war these days. I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the heroes of war hope to show the world a better way by honest, strategic play on the pitch. It's probably a good thing we don't see them. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. Reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. Is it true that most of the Amazon team's devoted fans consist of young men, Bob? Not at all, Jim. I've heard a large portion of their fan base consists of disgruntled homemakers and countless scores of former Bloodweiser babes. Aha! That would explain why the Amazon fans have their own fans themselves. Clean take up there, nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. An inch perfect pass. Not often you see that. that won't be coming back in a hurry. Did you know, Jim, that the Tlax Warriors were the first people to win the Zlatan Cup back in 2491? You mean no one else had won the cup before, Bob? Uh, no, Jim. It was the first time a non-lizard team participated in the Lustrian Cup, and the Amazons took it by storm and grabbed the trophy from Sotek's word. A player that bad should not be allowed on the pitch. That was practically a training match. But there was an opposition team, Bob. You didn't see it? about a one-sided match. Did they send out the reserve team by mistake? Tiddlywinks world champions, more like it. There can be no excuses. No balls, no victory. 
I'm not sure that that comment will come across as you meant it to sound. Uh. <laughs> they defended high up, keeping the opposition to their half of the field. Everybody clean! It can't be! They must have come up with an undetectable doping substance. I hope so, otherwise we're in for a dull match. He's a typical example of RPBA, ref paid to do bugger all. Yes, they could have got away with murder out there today. They did? 